I'm going to show you how to be overpowered in about 45 minutes with the route that I'm going to show you for a dexterity build here in Elden Ring. I figured with the Elden Ring DLC coming out potentially before spring, people were going to be coming back to the game and would want to jump on a dex build with a fresh character. So I'm going to show you everything you need from your talisman's flask to the weapon we're going to use. All of this is going to take about 45 minutes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, when picking your starting class, you're going to want to go with the warrior. This will have 16 dexterity right here at the beginning and that is the highest dexterity stat of any character you can choose in Elden Ring. The beginning of this route is always going to be the same. You're always going to want to get all the way to the grafted scion, jump off the edge to get to Limgrave, and then you're going to want to traverse through Limgrave to get to the gatefront site of Grace, snagging a total of three graces on your way there. I personally like to take this route that I'm showing you right here on the map, and once I get to the Gatefront Ruins site of Grace, I'll then talk to Melina, grab Torrent, and get up and go towards the ruins and grab the Wet Blade in the underground stairwell. After grabbing the Wet Blade, we'll then jump up and go over towards one of the stage coaches on the right, and you're going to kill the guys standing there, and you're then going to grab the Flail, because we're going to need it for some runes later. At this point, you're going to head back to the Gatefront Ruins, where you talk to Melina, and you're going to run through the giant gate, all all the way up until you get to the Stormhill Shack site of Grace. There's going to be a Stone Sword key on one of the outcroppings there. Go ahead and grab that and rest at the Grace. And now we're going to make our way east. The goal here is to get all the way to Summon Water Village. So take the route east all the way over the bridge. And then if you look on the left side of the road, you are going to find D. He is an NPC who you are going to need, so go ahead and talk to him, and then make your way down into Summon Water Village. As you make your way into Summon Water Village, you're going to see a Tibia Mariner. You are going to need to slay this mini boss in order to get him to drop for you a Death Root, which we will need for D's questline here at the beginning. But you are not finished in Summon Water Village. We're going to take the Stone Sword key that we got earlier, and we're going to make our way directly right. And in the ruins of Summon Water Village is going to be a Stone Imp statue. Follow the stairwells down after using the key, and you're going to find a door, and within that door will be the chest that holds the green turtle talisman. This will be our first talisman that's going to help us with our stamina recovery speed, and early on in the game, it is an incredible talisman to have. Now, resting at a site of grace is going to allow D to move into Summon Water Village, and you can actually go ahead and give him the death route. Doing this is going to allow him to put a portal on your map that we're going to go to in a little bit, but first, we need to move east into Kaled in order to get a weapon. After leaving D, you're going to head east up towards the smoldering church on the border of Caled and Limgrave. Go past the church and then go ahead and start killing these guardians that are holding the guardian sword spear, which is the weapon that we are going to be getting as it scales amazingly with dex, and in my opinion it's definitely top 5 dex weapons in all of Elden Ring. So at this point we need to go get our Flask of Wonders Physic. We're going to head directly south, right towards where D opened up the sending gate for us, and we're going to head to the third church of Merica. This is going to have your flask and a few other odds and ends you need so that we can get prepared for the next part of our journey. Now, before we head into the portal, you are going to head into the Mistwood. We're going to go there to grab the Greenspill Crystal Tier, which is going to be located at the Minor Ur Tree in the east of Limgrave. At this point, you're going to rest at the Church of America's Site of Grace, which is a perfect opportunity for you to level up your strength in order for you to be able to use the Flail, because you just got a ton of runes from farming for the Guardian Sword Spear. And then you can jump behind the church, and there's going to be a Sending Gate that D opened up for us. This is going to teleport you all the way to the east side of the map, where you're going to be dumped out right next to the beast clergyman. You can either grab all the sites of grace as we're going, or you can just continue down the path that I'm going to show you here, obviously grabbing any golden seeds as you go in order to get more flask on your journey through the lands between. We are going to make our way down all the way past the dragon on the bridge, and then stay to the right side as there's an Erdtree avatar that is completely scarlet rotted out, and that will absolutely decimate you. Behind that giant Erd tree is going to be a Wind Geyser. Jump up on the Wind Geyser and head towards Fort Faroth, resting at the side of Grace so we can start getting this dragon down. Now this is probably going to be the longest portion of anything that you are going to do within this entire route. You need to go down to the dragon standing exactly where I am and go ahead and just start hitting him with a flail. 
Do whatever you possibly can. The bleed chunks will slowly but surely take him down, but this is going to take you about 10 minutes straight to do, and it is very, very boring. Turn on a show, turn on some YouTube, watch another one of my videos on another monitor, because you are going to sit here for a while until this dragon is down. After the dragon is down, you can go ahead and run back to the side of Grace, and then you can use all the runes you just got to level up in order to use your Guardian Sword Spear. Now we're going to fast travel all the way back to the Stormhill Shack, because you need to run north into Liurnia around the backside of Stormvale Castle. There are a few items that we need to get here, but they are incredibly easy to get now that you have the levels for them, and the majority of them are just sitting out ready for you to grab. You're going to follow the route that I'm showing you here on the map all the way up until you can see Liurnia over the cliffside, and you're going to jump down some tombstones all the way until you get to the very bottom where there's going to be a dungeon. We're going to be heading into Stillwater Cave, where you're going to need to defeat the Clean Rot Knight at the end in order for us to pick up the Wing Sword Insignia. This is going to work really well with our Sword Dance Ash of War that we're also going to pick up in this area because it's going to raise our attack power with successive attacks, allowing us to do more damage. At this point, you're going to head out of the cave and go all the way towards the Boil Prong Shack right here on the map. A little bit south of this shack is going to be a small island, and on this island is one of the tiers you need to pick up, which is going to be the Dexterity Knot Crystal tier. This is going to raise our dexterity by 10, allowing us to do more damage when we consume our flask. There are going to be some Albinarchs there, but you should ignore them and just grab the tier and get out of there. At this point, we only have one more thing to do in Lyrnia of the Lakes, and that is to go pick up the Sword Dance Ash of War. This goes incredibly well with the Guardian Sword Spear and the Wing Sword Insignia Talisman that we just picked up. You're going to make your way all the way over to the west side of Lyrnia of the Lakes, located right here on the map, and there's going to be a Scarab. You need to kill that Scarab, and then he will drop for you the Sword Dance Ash of War. And at this point, there's only one or two things you have to do left before you can go fight Margoth the Fell Omen. You're going to need to head back to Limgrave and go to the Limgrave Tunnels Dungeon located right here on the map and run through and get every single smithing stone that you can find. Some of the miners will also drop smithing stones, but you can go ahead and grab all the smithing stones, make your way through the dungeon, and kill the cave troll at the very end. This should give you enough runes in order to upgrade your weapon to level 3, and if you are missing one smithing stone, you can head back to the Church of Ella, and there should be a smithing stone level 1 sitting right there on the anvil. At this point, you can head back to Stormvale Castle, and between your flask, weapon, ash of war, and your levels, you should more than be able to take care of this boss so you can progress through the rest of the game or go back into Limgrave and Weeping Peninsula and absolutely destroy everybody. So in just around 45 minutes, we have gotten a Guardian Keen Sword Spear at plus three. We also have the Wing Sword Insignia and the Green Turtle Talisman. And for your flask, you're using the Green Spill Crystal Tier and the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier. Overall, this is a really fantastic build. Starting off in Elden Ring, you're also going to be level 31 with 28 Dexterity, 17 Strength, and 15 Vigor to get you started. You're going to have a medium roll, and overall, this is an absolutely phenomenal jumping point for you to run into Stormvale Castle, or head back into Limgrave and Weeping Peninsula and continue the game. I can promise you though, every single boss that you go up against from this point on, if you're running back into Limgrave or Weeping Peninsula, you are absolutely going to decimate. And guys, there you have it. That is our overpowered early dexterity build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have anything that you would have changed in the route, leave it down in the comments below, perhaps a different weapon, a different tier, whatever it might be. I'd love to know about it and I'd love to talk about it further with you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe hit the bell notifications you guys you know when I'm making more videos. And speaking of more videos, I'm going to leave a ton on the screen right here for you. So until next time, stay safe, enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next one.